English. And one of the reasons that the that we have this thing, well, the way it's set up is that the National Park Service is the one who pays to maintain the uh, this call-in center. And that's why we are tied very closely to the Mexican-American War stuff. So it's the same thing, and we're able to work off of it. So that's why we have such Excellent. a powerful partnership with them. Excellent. But all these things are keyed in there. And it also gives us the ability that as we move forward, we can add more sites. Perfect. And we've got a, basically a limitless number of, of uh, numbers that we can use on it. But right now, uh, we've started to add on the Mexican sites as well for the Mexican-American War, just so that, again, people can dovetail into it. If they come in there, you know, more people will probably know about the Civil War than about the Mexican-American War, but we want people to understand how it connects. So I hope it helps you, and I'm very sincere with what I said. If you guys would like, uh, you know, I'm happy to make sure that we connect to your web page. We've got a very active Facebook thing where we're yes. always putting stuff out. And uh, our goal is to make, again, we're trying to work as a team in this valley. And as much as I can bad mouth folks, I mean, I, I know you're, if we're outsiders, you're always said that way. So you got to work with people. But I'm, I'm happy to work with you guys. And please, please give us more for this. Absolutely. Because it's very important and, uh, you know, thank God we have, we're going to go out there now. So. Awesome. Well, thank you, I mean, for coming out and, like, participating and in, in being, like, a, 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 an active partner in this. Yeah. Like I said, I think we see it as a collective effort to, like, preserve um, our cultural history and, and I think this is, this is awesome. I mean, to see this, this is fantastic and that it, it is inclusive. Um, of cultures and, and of people and of, of shared history. Well, so, I, that, that, and I appreciate hearing that because, and I was also I'm, I'm encouraged that you guys went ahead and got that battlefield protection for this because there are another there are a number of battlefield sites up here. Now, again, they're smaller right. than this one, but there are a number of other sites. And of course, what's important about that is that it would be nice to be able to go to these to the American battlefield protection. So, you know what? $5,000 so that we can develop one interpretive sign, uh, some pamphlets or something right. else, help us move this forward. Yeah. Because, you know, to build more it's content absolutely. along the route. Well, it, it, is, it really is a regional effort. That's it's, the idea. It's not, it, yeah. you know, yeah. that site's fantastic. That site's yeah. fantastic. It's a regional. It's a regional. regional. And, and, you know, we lost so many of the sites when they built the dam. Right. Because many of the sites were located here. Where they actually. There was, there was fighting here a week before Fort Sumter. Oh, really? This is where like the earliest conflict took place in the Civil Wars up in Zapata, and it's now underneath the lake. Now we interpret it, but the issue is, is that the site's gone. So yeah. it'd be really nice to have you know, a pull-off somewhere sure. so we could look at it. Exactly. But you know, we, we do the best we can. But I, I think that you know, you give me, you, you encourage me to think that we can apply for other things. I think that's the nice thing to identify the sites. Yes. You know, what are the hell is the, this, you know, the, fight, the wagon fight, or right. whatever the hell it is. Yeah. You know, but maybe we can figure that out through time. But anyway, the, the there's here, and again, if anything I can do to help, I'm game. Okay, awesome. Fantastic. And again, if you guys want to take copies of this, if not, I'm going to leave some of these with the library here if you want. If you want any more copies, I'll take them. Can you talk a little bit about what it's so you, you own yeah. you you are the ranch owner yes. who owns the Palmito Golf Well part of it. Part of it. But yeah, but I'm Hill. But I'm the over the course of at least the last thirty years and probably more, I've been the, I'm the uh, with, I mean I have several cousins and I'll point them out. But I've probably been the one that's been that is a, I, I like to think of myself as a caretaker. I'm the caretaker un, unofficial an unappointed caretaker for the whole Palmio Ranch area. Let me explain to you that this whole area, beginning on the Mexican side and going northward, all the way to Port Isabel, this was all a land grant. This was a Spanish land grant to a fellow by the name of Ignacio Trevino, okay, of which I'm a descendant. And, and 
the, re the way this came into the flow, Gervinho, Ignacio Gervinho granted pieces of this of his land grant to his daughters, and uh, and and they they didn't marry, and so that's how the Oliva family, the Gavito family, the Champion family, the the, 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 